Peace, abundance, my people. Abundance. Yizzo. Abundance. Abundance. Supreme. Supreme. Abundance. 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 Yizzo. Yizzo. Abundance. Woman, child, and man. Cosmos and earth. Eternal light. Each one reach one. This is how we grow. I see you. Abundance. Abundance, divine sister. Abundance. Abundance to you all. Abundance. I just thought it, I, I I just thought I wanted to just get this live in real quick, my people. And because uh, I want to show this picture. I posted the picture, but I want to show this too because I mean shit. I mean, damn. Whew. Just the you know, people don't really must not really tick took this. I'm feeling I'm feeling wonderful, chosen. Thank you, thank you. But let me see to see. Let me show you this. You see that right there? I posted this on my page. Actually, Mr. MB33 posted it because a subscriber of his took this picture, I think, in their backyard or out in their area, wherever they were at. They took this picture. This right here. You see this right here, people? I mean, uh, uh, let me flip this around. God damn! <laughs> I mean, damn. Now, let me let me let me flip this back around for you one more time, man. For the people that y'all can go watch Mr. MB33 channel. I mean, these people send him whole punch clouds and this right here. Hey, she golden. Look, the whole punch clouds and this right here. And and vapor, water, and air created that structure in the sky. You see how, first of all, people, you see how big that mother French toast ship is? That's only, that's a baby ship, people. That's a baby. But I tell you, that's a baby right there. That's a baby. This is why, listen. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that's, listen. This is why they had such a serious problem with my videos, man. This is why, because see, the what I'm speaking about is what they ripped away from our consciousness. With the way, no, excuse me, yeah, our consciousness, not our subconscious mind. They didn't rip this away from our soul. But what the, what I'm showing you and what I'm constantly talking about, it reverts back to you, your genetics. It reverts back to you. It just so happened that our genetics. Is just superior. That doesn't mean because my genetics is superior to you. That that means you are beneath me as far as you should be my slave. No, that's not it. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not at all. That's not fair at all. But that doesn't mean that I should be your slave. That that's for damn sure. I shouldn't be your slave. And let me let me let me constantly I'm gonna flip back and forth to me, but I'm gonna constantly keep this on this right here. Uh you talk about a French toast war in the heaven. You lost your French toast. Look at the side of this right here. Do you see the side of do you see the smooth side of that? <laughs> Hold on, let me put this motherfucker. Let me put this on my leg. Hold up. Look, look at the smooth side. Y'all know that's on an angle, right? Y'all do know that's on an angle. That's on an angle. Look at the smooth side as it's going up. And then look at the side of it, how it gets so flat. And then look at the hole that's like in the middle where the wind turbine is at. That pulls into uh, that pulls in the the electrical, the the uh, the um the magnetic field, the energy to operate the ship. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that shit. And you and, and and in the daytime, broad daylight in the daytime. In fact, you can go on Mr. MB3. These people taking pictures when it's broad daylight and you barely got any clouds in the middle of the sky. You might have some on a on a circumference, right? But you got it's sunny outside. Why is it dim? Why is it dim? Why do you have dark patches in the sky? Kalari, I pointed this shit out to you. 
You go back, you can go back and look at other people's videos that are talking about yo. Even though the sky is blue and the white is white, it's a little, it's look, it look dim outside. It look dark, and I'm starting to see like like little dark patches in the blue spot of the sky. Why? Look at what you sent me. I'm on it. You ain't gotta worry about it. Let me hold on. Let me let me let me screenshot this real because I'm on it. I'm where I'm on it. I'm on it. Just look at it. What I told y'all when that not the thick cloud cover. The thick cloud cover you can notice the difference too. But when that thin smoke, when they spraying that thin smoke up out there in the sky, and then next thing you know you see ninety degree angles and sharp lines, nigga, that's something up there. <laughs> Nigga, that shit's up there. Let me show you again. You, when they, I ain't talking about the thick cloud cover. I'm not talking about the overcast when it's a gray sky and it's raining outside. I'm talking about that thin, milky white smoke. This right here. And then all of a sudden, you start seeing structures and shapes and that thin smoke like this. Hey, shiz, you funny as shit talking about Jesus is the way. Y'all know you live in Philly? Oh, okay, you know, y'all you, know, y'all know, um, shiz just be in here to agitate y'all, to see where y'all at mentally. Y'all know that, right? I, I done told y'all people this many a times, and I'm not going to say it anymore. This is my last time telling y'all. I'm giving y'all a head. Shiz say, says things in here just to see where you're at on a mental, on a, on a mental level. That's it. Get a laugh, a joke, and see where you at. Security, you don't even want to come up here, security, because you know we don't want to have no conversation. We don't, cause sec <laughs> security don't want to have no conversation with me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, this is, this is happening, people, at an accelerating rate. And we're not even, hold on, let me show y'all, let me show you the other picture that I, you remember the picture that I posted the other day on my page? Hold on, let me show y'all this. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Where, where the fuck? What, look at this. Look at the bottom of that. Look at the, look at the, 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 the waves. You see the waves? Frequency. Look at the frequency waves right there. Look at the aerodynamic, the point at the top. Look at that. How is that possible? <laughs> How is that possible? You have all you have pyramid crabs. You have you have you have crabs that look like the go look at you know what I tell you? Here you go. Jupiter ascending, predator, um what's another one? Um what is it? the Avengers when those when those crabs started coming through the portal and they was moving around in the sky like snakes that there uh what's up what other what other one the Avengers predator um what else shit I can't even like I I can even I can think of you know people pick and put it in this is where they get all these structures of these ships from because they can see them you feel what I'm saying? We're going to allow you to see me when I want you to see me. We're going to allow you to see me when I want you to see me. Just understand something. These entities that's, that's here on this planet, they figuring it out as they as they going along, people. This is what y'all don't know. They're figuring it out as they going along. This is why they use, you think they don't use brothers and sisters that are clear, that are, that are clairvoyant, that can see, and, and that can see the feet of future and speaking about it right now. You really think they can't, but they do. This is what they really, they really seek, seek us on these videos. For real. Why you think I can post a video in 21, 21 minutes? I got 100K likes. Oh, man. They know what they doing. And, but they got to follow universal law. And I'm not deviating from universal law because DNA doesn't speak hatred. Doesn't DNA doesn't speak separation. DNA doesn't speak Slavery. DNA doesn't speak 
what continent or argument, what where are we from? DNA doesn't, it's not an argument about DNA when it comes down to reproduction. There is not an argument when it comes down to DNA when it comes down to how we should be learning. It's not an argument when it comes down to DNA or how we should be eating as a species on this planet. Every species on this planet, no matter if we 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 share the same realm together or not, we each have our own genetic uh, blueprint on what we should be eating. Every last one of us. Every last species on the planet. Search up how many... Hold on. I forgot. I did this number before. So just for me to be on the sake of, you know... How many different animals on the surface of the planet? Excuse me. How many different land animal species are there? According to Wikipedia, as of 2022, around 2.16 million living animal species have been... Damn! Of which around 1.05 million are insects, over 85,000 are mollusks, and around... Oh! Yo, 1.5 million are insects? Woo! Damn! And each species has their own blueprint on what they should be eating. On what on how they should be reproducing. Crocodiles don't reproduce at the same time that lake snakes do. Sharks don't reproduce at the same time that goldfish do. Elephants don't reproduce at the same time that hyenas do. Mm. We all have their our own biological clock. Mm. Mm. That shit's deep, people. We ain't thinking about shit like that. Like, damn. Why are all humans eating the same, but all nature ain't eating the same, and all humans are raging wars and killing each other, but all nature ain't doing that? Make you want to scratch your motherfucking head, don't it? Make you want to think. All goes back to what? DNA. Why are we doing this if we ain't supposed to be doing this? Mm. That's why nobody want to talk about DNA. You see what I'm saying to you? Because you ain't right within. <laughs> it ain't how you speak without. It ain't how you speak outwardly. It's about right within. <laughs> see, that's the issue. See, see, when you really cross over into universal awareness, shit, you got to let a lot of things go. You got to let, you gotta let, you gotta let a lot of things go. And when you let things go, you realize the things that you let go and the problems that you had in your life, all that shit was brought on to you. Granted, you had a you had a blueprint that was that was imprinted in you from the ages from the time you was in your gestation period all the way up to 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. But as a grown as AK adult, after you done went through three life cycles, you done went through seven first seven years. The second seven years, and now you're 21 year, years of age, and you ain't thinking for yourself? I mean, damn, just a little bit for yourself. Nah. Nah. Nah, I ain't going for that. Nope. Nope. But yeah, like I said, you know, and I, how does vapor, how does vapor and water and air create a structure like that? How does vapor, air, and water, how does that, that's virtually, that's a whole situation by itself. Just to be fully honest with you, my people, that's a whole situation by itself. That shit stand out like a sore thumb. Like a sore thumb. You can learn a lot from animals. You damn right. That's why we had so many in nature. Why you think we? Why you think we purposely on the on the the Egyptian on the Arrays? Uh, why did we have the, the 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 cobra and the crocodile on it? Purposely. Why? Why in all the pyramids? No matter which one you go in, you're going to find a female body with a female lioness head on, on, on carved on the pyramids. Why are you going to find a a woman or a male, a woman always feeding a male the onk. She literally pushing the onk in his mouth. Why you see one of the, what you would call a uh, Haru or Tahuti, you understand, feeding a male the onk. Why you see, why you, why do you see that? Why do you see that? Life, bro. We about life. 
That's what we about. So now let me let me speak about something real fast because I would just me and you know me and my sister security we always was having these conversations. And one of the things that I, we was talking about is about how we get into relationships with people and then we expect them to be more than what we than what we signed up for. So let me give an example, right? If let's say you met me and I work at a I I I, I you matter fuck that. Here we go right here. You met me and I'm comfortable where I'm at financially because why i say i'm comfortable where i'm at financially because i live by myself i take care of myself and i don't depend on anyone right now you meet me we together and i'm cool before i met you i'm cool i'm taking care of my shit so now you meet me i like you you like me we together we've been together for a year two years now you want me to change my way of living, aka uh, patterns, to fit you. That's wrong. That's wrong. I don't care who it is, male to female, female to male. That's wrong. That's why I'm a firm believer, and this is why I say we don't have these conversations with the people that we are interested in because lust overshadows fucking logic that's why lust l fake loneliness and lust and love fake ass love fake loneliness and lust overshadows our judgment facts let me say this to you my sisters and i'm being real with you especially the ones that look in the mirror and say that you're twenty, you're pretty, you're pretty all the time, and everyone tell you you're pretty. You got pretty privilege, right? And I want to say this to you, right? You ever been with a male? And I don't, and not all of y'all, but we just going to. This why I tell the younger generation to ask the questions. You ever been with a male? You get you talking to a male. You like the male. The male like you. This, that, and the third. Now y'all get together with each other, right? And now you giving him something that you want him to be that he's not. And because he he in his mind already know he's not going to be that. You know what he end up doing? He end up walking away from you. He end up going to go seek something else, something that can understand and overstand, accept him for who he is and where he's at in life. See, let me tell you this. If you can't come in my life and not be, you can come in my, for, for example, I'm just using me for an example. You can't come in my life and be a billionaire and be a dime and think that's all it's going to take. I don't give a fuck. I, that's just being real. You can be a billionaire and you can be a dime. You still going to get, if I don't see shit me in the way, that I feel as though that we can function together as a unit, I'm bringing that shit to your attention. I have expectations to you. Now, I understand because you're a billionaire and you're a dom, you don't, you're not used to expectations. Well, I'm going to give you my expectations of you right here in the beginning. So before me and you have sex and then you, I'm, I'm another one of your stories on the side about how I lied to you about me wanting to be with you and this, that, and the third. I do want to be with you, but you show me something that's inside of you that I don't want to attach myself to. See, that's the issue. That right there. So we was having this conversation back and forth. You see what I'm saying to you? Brothers, don't be out here killing yourself. You listen, I am. If you looking for a millionaire, you can just go on past collab. If you're looking for a motherfucker that's going to pay $500 for a t-shirt or a pocketbook, you can just go on past collab. If you're looking for a person that's, that you think that's going to, that's going to, that's going to financial happiness, you can go on past collab. See you. Get the fuck going. Peace. Goodbye. That's a fact. I will never kill myself to financially take care of another grown motherfucking adult. I won't even do that for my children, but I will, I will definitely work for my children so they get a certain age. I will never financially drain myself. Are we kidding me? What? 
And guys that perpetrate that, you're, you're setting yourself back. And you're setting, and what's happening is not only are you setting yourself back, but you're setting her back too because you're lying about the situation. That's all I'm saying. You talk about motherfuckers that's making that type of money 1% of men. That's just being real. You're lying about the situation. I'm all with you. It's no way you you look out for your female. It's no problem looking out for. Your, it's no it's no problem you post to. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't, ain't got no problem with that. But I'm not looking out for fruitless shit. I'm oh let me let me first of all let me just make this clear right. There's two ways to look at this. I can pay a woman or the Chinese man to do your motherfucking nails, and I can call you a lazy ass woman. Or you can do it yourself and I can say, damn, look at this woman right here. See, there's two ways to look at this shit. You can look at that and be like, oh, I'm a boss. I got this person doing my nails. I got this person doing my hair. I got you. I'm a boss. I'm that boss. Or you're lazy. One or the other. See, when you have knowledge of self, you look at that and you say, that's lazy. I'm not being smart. Call it what you want. The same thing when it comes to these niggas out here in the street. The white man is holding me back. No, nigga, you want the white man dream. You know, and you and because you want the white man dream, you want that, you lusting for that woman over there. See? Because you went past the girl that got the glasses on, that had the big book bag on her motherfucking back. You understand? That 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 people that she didn't get her hair done every motherfucking week. You understand? She had the two motherfucking balls, you know, the little two ponytails and shit with the thing, or she had the one ponytail with the grease all the way back. You weren't looking at her. You was looking at the other one over there that had her nails and her hair done. Her mom was sitting under the clue. Shit was looking fly. You was like, damn. She, you was looking at that all motherfucking day long. And because you looking at that, now you chasing the white man dream. And now you aging, nigga. You 20, you fucking, you fucking 20 years old looking like you 35. You having ED at 25, taking motherfucking, popping motherfucking Viagra like fucking Eminem's, nigga. Talk about baby, man, you, maybe you need to blow on it. Maybe you need to do some more freaky shit. Maybe you nigga, how freaky can I get? Get the That shit just hit a lot of people just that. <laughs> Security, you funny. <laughs> Seriously. Shit is crazy. This thing is out here is off the chain. And guess what? Going to DNA ends all that shit. See? Ends it all. Ends it all. Ends it all. Knowledge of self is discipline. The only reason why people ain't got no discipline because they don't have knowledge of self. You have knowledge of someone else that's telling you about self. If you had knowledge of self, you will automatically start to display discipline. Automatic. Even if you don't want to, your body going to make you do that shit. Nigga, I, I, I can't even go into a motherfucking club right now and order a drink. Even if I wanted to, I'd be like, man, let me, let me just go in here and see if I can get it done. My motherfucking body, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, I ride past the bar, like I used to go in that joint right there. Girls outside with short skirts on and high heels on. It's 20 degrees out there. Cold as shit standing in line. You understand? All the niggas dress properly. All the women aren't dressed properly. Majority of them. Let me just say that. Getting in the motherfucking car, I'd be like, damn, let me, let me get the fuck, let me go. Man, my soul be like, nigga, you ain't, you ain't taking this body in there. <laughs> Even if you wanted to, I'm telling you, once you know about this shit and you really have knowledge yourself, you be like, wait a minute. I want to taste that cake. I want to, you know what? I want to taste that cake, that tasty cake today. I want a piece of that cake. But you like, no, nah, the fucking sugar gonna go right through my brain and it's going to fuck my brain up. And then I'm going to be all running around like this. <laughs> Seriously, you be you be thinking about.
about this shit. And then you'll be like, wait a minute. The sugar going to tear my testosterone down. It's breaking my testosterone. The water coming out the faucet, your spigot water. The way they come out the, the sink. They got a whole high levels of atrazine in it. Female estrogen to tear your testosterone down. You wonder why women growing beards and shit and got deep voice. And we like, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? You, you, if you, right now, you can go, you can stand in a hallway and just listen in a motherfucking room with men and women. And you probably wouldn't be able to know who the fuck is the difference. Who the fuck is it? You probably, you probably wouldn't even know who is in it. Is they all women in there? Or is it? You wouldn't know what, if they turn all the lights out and put the women on one side and men on the other and they started talking, you wouldn't know who the fuck was side of some. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And y'all know it. Y'all know this shit. With no who is who. You're like, damn. Who the fuck? Is the, is the ladies over here? Is the... Oh, you know what, man? I'm out of this motherfucker. I ain't coming in here. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Men growing... Yeah, man. We, we, we gone, man. We gone. The deep, the deep voice... That that deep voice, that testosterone is is fizzing out. It's it's, it's just it's like it's fizzing, but it's no, but it's not. It's trying to fizz its way out, but it's not. We still here. You couldn't fool all of us. Like I told you, all of us wasn't slaves. They want to tell you that all of us wasn't raped. All of us wasn't abused. Some of us did some abusing before we got abused. <laughs> so that bloodline's still here, baby. Some of us did some of that shit there. <laughs> Believe me, you what I tell you. I see t Tiff and Security and y'all ain't having a conversation. Years out. Always good to see sisters get together. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Always good to see our people get together. You know, but again, like I said, you know, I just the whole premise of this video was, you know, I couldn't believe some of the images that are now at this particular time that are coming out. And what and I told you where at in those rural areas, in those suburbs, everybody like, like move out to the suburbs. Nigga, only time I want to go out to the suburbs right now to take pictures of the sky. It's war time out there. They sitting down there looking at these people or and these people, I'm gonna tell y'all something. As long as I lived in Philly, I'm telling you, when I drive around in certain parts of Philly, I mean, 10 minutes from the hood. So, I mean, I'm going to say, let's say 20 minutes from the hood sometimes, 20, 30 minutes from the hood. I mean, you could look at these areas that these people live in and these houses. Man, you talk about our brothers and sisters is going to lay the smack down, bro. But we going to do it, though. I just want y'all to know we going to do it. They're going to smack down. Mother Universe going to lay it down first because she's going to bring out the truth. This is what she's doing. She's unveiling the truth. She wants you to see your abuser. She wants you to see how you reject your own brother and sister. She wants you to see all of this. See, I got all these tears out of my eyes already. You don't even know it. I cried like a baby when I came into my awakening. I may have been on video and showed passion. But when I came into my awakening, I could never, uh, I, let me explain something to you people. Think of your, think, think of your, <laughs> think of the, the most darkest nightmare that you could ever have. Think of it right now. Think of the most darkest, like, think of the most tragic thing that could possibly happen to you right now. Now we're not manifesting it for it to happen, but I just want to give this analogy. Just think about this. this is how I this is this is the level of awareness that I have come to. Just think about the most darkest tragedy thing that you could that could happen to you right now. Just think about that, right? A family member, your child, anything could happen to you, right? That's how it is when you ball your fucking fists up and you punch your brother. That's how it is when you talk words of hatred and not value and appreciation and respect for your brother and sister. You can multiply that by a gazillion. I'm telling you the truth. 
Rather you want to hear that? This is what made me cry. How could I ever load up a fucking gun and look at my brother as an enemy? How could I ever be that way? How could I, how could I bag up crack and valves and sell it to my people? How could I do it? How the fuck could I do them shit like that? And then listen to the rap songs and laugh and joke with the brothers and sisters that do the same shit that I'm doing or toxic shit to the people that we're doing it to that look just like me. Nigga, I cried. Broke down in tears. Cried. You ain't coming to your awakening. I'm telling y'all, my people, your memory come back to you. When I say that, your memory... Everything that went on in this life right now and past life, it's just that I'm skipping past slavery. See, I'm going back to the to the last great reset. You see what I'm saying? I'm going back to that. That's where I'm going back to. To the last great reset. And bringing it face forward right here. I know what this is. I know what's going to take. I know what's happening. And to know, and to know that it's you it's it's a the the shit i cried my grandmother passed away man i cried like a baby if it wasn't for Aminette and my children i don't even think i would be here that's how much and that's how much trapped i was to this world that's how much in love i was with my grandmother and not accepting the inevitable that there is an afterlife but accepting death i cried like a baby i wanted to I didn't even, I'm telling you, almost to the point, like, I ain't even want to be here no more. When I watch my grandmother go away, knowing that my grandmother, when I was, when I was, when I was sick, right? You know, we get sick from the foods that we eat. I was growing up, I eat fucking pork chops, pig, I all that shit. So I get a fever, stomach virus. And I watch my grandmother every day nurture me back to health. I watched her sing over top of me. I watched her hum the same words that she was humming during slavery. Yo, man. <laughs> and to know, listen to me, and to know that that feeling of my loss to my grandmother is a gazillion times worse to talk ill to my brother. To speak ill to my sister, my mother of humanity, to hate you, to want to fight you, to find ways to destroy you. You have the slightest idea. So I got past my tears and every now and then I got to get through a few others. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Hold on. People. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up for a second. You know, fucking specs on and shit. I had to get my specs right. Get my shit right back together. So, when I tell you, my people, man, this awakening is amazing. This was the most... I never... This The only thing that ever came close to this is watching my children born. That's being honest with you. Nothing has ever in my life. Nothing. It's the only thing. This is a rebirth. And some of us going to have to die physically instead of have to die mentally. See, I had to die mentally. I had to kill that French toast individual that was in there. And he still got a cousin or two that sit around in there with his motherfucking... He, but his cousin, they hide. They playing motherfucking Bin Laden. They hide, they hide around. That nigga looking for us. The chemistry book looking for us. The neurology book looking for us. The biology book looking for us. Shit. <laughs> I value you my brothers and sisters I sincerely do This is our home one of many Thank you for allowing me to share my energy My light with you all Thank you all I don't take anything for granted You know Um I don't take anything for granted. This is our home, one of many star seeds. Your voice will be heard. Trust me when I tell you, your voice is being heard right now. 
Don't let nobody fool you. You know, think for yourself. You already question everything. Don't let nobody stop you from questioning everything. The most powerful weapon in this world is this right here. The most powerful weapon. And you hold that weapon because you are the weapon. Not a gun. Not a nuclear bomb. None of that. Look at all Look at all they trying to... Listen, Star Seeds. Look at all what they doing right now to the sun. Or trying to anyway. You see your skies constantly being sprayed. You see cloudy cloud, clouds all the time. You see it all the time. You see it happening, right? And look at how they talk about that. They fear that sun. It's not that they fear the sun. They actually respect the sun. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you can't manipulate it. You can't bargain with it. The sun is not going to bargain with righteousness. The sun is not going to allow, allow tears and cries and screams to stop his righteous acts. No. The sun is not going to do that. There's no bargaining chip. None of that. And the sun takes orders from, from Mother Universe. And when the woman understands how powerful she truly is and how dangerous you are too. <laughs> dangerous. Mm. But I say dangerous. When I say dangerous, so-called black woman, I'm not talking about dangerous to your species. I don't, I'm not, I'm just talking about dangerous, period. You are dangerous. You ain't nothing to be fucking played with. And every natural female in nature will remind you of that. Abundance and gratitude to you all. Have an amazing rest of your night. Woman, child, and man, cosmos and earth, eternal light. Each one, reach one. This is how we grow. I see you, my brothers and sisters. Protect yourself at all times. And do not let anyone, anyone change who you are. Abundance.